Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem completely. Okay. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x equal to 39. Now the first thing you do is bringing 39 to the left. So we're going to have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x minus 39 equal to 0. Now, as it is, it's a kind of difficult to factorize. And because of that, we are going to have a couple of manipulation, right? So this... Um, x squared here, I'm going to break it into 2 so that I will have x to the power of 3 then minus 3x squared plus 4x squared because if you work on this, it will give you back the x squared, right? Then for the other one, which is x over here I'm going to break it into 2 again as I have minus 12x plus 13x. Okay, because minus 12x plus 13x is expected to give us x. It's going to give us what we have over there. Then we have minus 13. Okay, minus 39 rather. This is 39. And this is equal to 0. Now, what should I do? I have to begin to factorize. The reason for this is for us to be able to factorize. Okay? Now, our x from here, x squared, right, is the common factor to these two terms. So, I'll bring x squared out. Open bracket. Here we have x. Minus here we have only 3 close this then here now we're going to have plus 4x as a common factor and in here we have 1x minus 2 um 4 into 12 is 3 close this then i'm going over there what is common is plus 13 and then here we have x and 13 into 39 will give us 3 this is equal to zero. At least by now you have seen what we did before. We ensure that we can have common factors when we factorize. Okay. So now what do we do? Bring out the common factors from this. So I'll have x minus three. Okay. Then here what will be left is x squared. Then plus here we have four x. Plus here we have 13 and that is it everything equal to 0 and then from here what do we do apply zero product rule remember the question says we should solve this completely so we're going to have x minus 3 to be equal to 0 or x squared plus 4x plus 13 is equal to zero now if this is the case x is equal to zero plus three and x is equal to three now this is a real solution to the problem but then the question says we should solve it completely so we have to go back to this quadratic equation and provide the solution to it now let me divide this so I will write it over here, x squared plus 4x plus 13 equals 0. Now why don't I solve this using the formula method? And for the formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And all of this is over 2a. 
all of this is over 2a so if we continue x will be equal to by the way what will be our abc the coefficient of x squared is a coefficient of x is b and 13 here is our c now in place of minus b i'll write minus 4 plus or minus b squared will be 4 squared minus 4 times a a is 1 and c is 13. the whole of this is over 2 times 1. okay to continue x will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus then we have 16 minus 4 times 13 that will give us 52 right so we'll write 52 over there and um the whole of this is over 2. Okay, so x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus. We have square root of negative 36. 16 minus 52 is minus 36. And this is over 2. Now, to continue, x will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 32 multiplied by square root of negative 1 square root of 32 multiplied by square root of negative 1 and this is all over 2 sorry this is supposed to be 36 right now what do i do from here we can now find the square root of this and this so x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 36 will give 6 and then square root of negative 1 is going to give us i. And this is over 2. Now, what do we do? This can go into that, right? So, x will be equal to 2 into uh, minus 4 will give minus 2. Plus or minus, the same 2 will go into 6. So, we have 3i. Okay, we have 3i. And um, I think that is that. But then this is a 2 in 1 solution because x2 is now minus 2 plus 3i. And then our x3 is minus 2 minus 3i. Okay, so we have another two solutions. And um, let's bring the three solutions together over here. We're going to have our x1, which is equal to 3. Our x2 is minus 2 plus 3i. And our x3 is equal to minus 2 minus 3i. Remember that it is only the first solution that is real. Thank you for watching.